Prince Harry appears to have turned the entire firm against him. He and his former basic cable wife Meghan Markle are thought to be livid at his father King Charles's latest royal decision. The Crown's new season wasn't as bad as King Charles was expecting. In fact, it was worse. Not because Netflix has portrayed the monarch as a philandering, heartless husband intent on betraying his ex-wife and mother, which the 74-year-old had braced himself for, but because the king's suspicions over his wayward son have been confirmed. According to Women's Day, King Charles, now more than ever, suspects 38-year-old Harry, who's on Netflix's payroll, might have had an unofficial sway on the headline-making drama and its controversial storytelling. While the Duke of Sussex and his wife Meghan have failed to produce their own Netflix docuseries, reports claim they pocketed an eye-watering $100 million from the streaming giant, cementing them as a very powerful part of the business. Having now watched the show, Charles is convinced that Netflix had help from him, shares a palace source, who points out that Prince William is dragged into the show's plot in such a gratuitous way, but Harry's character is exempt, except for a bit of light relief. Insiders say the show's inclusion of subtle hints that the royal households briefed the media against each other is a telling sign Harry was involved, given it was one of the prince's many gripes about palace life. Not to mention a scene in which Diana tells the Queen she gave the BBC an interview, which is not unlike how Harry told his grandmother he was telling all to Oprah, says the source. For Charles, insiders say it's the single most devastating act that could have been taken against him. If it's true, it's basically treason, says one outraged palace insider. Harry was still around when the series began in 2016, and he knew how damaging it has been to pretty much every single senior member of the royal family. Except, it seems, for himself. With speculation over just how involved Harry was with the Crown's script, raging through the firm, it's reported that King Charles last week called an emergency meeting with key members. Charles wants to consider cutting Harry off once and for all, says the source, but he also wants to present it as a united family decision, rather than just his own. And above all, he trusts Prince William, Princess Catherine, Princess Anne and Prince Edward, all who were summoned to Buckingham Palace to discuss the issue. It seems that they were all in favour of turfing Harry, given that last Friday King Charles appealed to the UK Parliament for Anne and Edward to be included in the councillors of state a group of senior royals who can be called upon to step in if the monarch is absent or unable to rule. If he's successful, Harry will become totally obsolete within the royal system, says a source. Charles would prefer his loyal sister and the reliable Edward any day over a rebellious son who may or may not have sold him out to Hollywood scriptwriters. According to one royal pundit, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be furious that King Charles has changed their old rule, which in effect further distances his runaway son from having anything to do with the monarchy. Angela Levin said, Harry and Meghan would be absolutely furious with the decision, but he lives in California, he stopped being a working royal, so why should he be a councillor of state? She added, it isn't about Harry, but instead what the king needs. We're pretty sure it's all about Harry, at least in the hot-headed redhead's mind. Angela went on to say that if black sheep Prince Andrew were to stand in for the king, the public would be absolutely furious. She concluded, reading between the lines, it allows him to ensure that the right people are doing the right jobs.